Murph, uh, the balance was there. Nine guys scored, and uh, you know, games like this, when you lose a lot from one year to the next, you wonder who's going to step up. And uh, middle quarter, uh, you had a sophomore, I think it was, off the bench, and, and Hirschbrunner, and uh, and then of course Alex Berenclaw with a great end of the first half. Yeah, we knew coming in, Rob. We we, we had three guys that. With Baron Claw and uh, Barda and Brant, the Killer Bees were the only guys that actually played in the varsity game. So, without the guys we've had in the past, it's going to be by committee probably with a lot of our scoring. So, uh, hopefully, it makes for tougher scouting for other teams. Try to find the hot end, and like you said, with uh, Hirschburner and and uh, Baron Claw get it going. That obviously puts some separation between them and Broad. Otherwise, it was a tough game. They came in with five new stars, and so did we. So. You never know what to expect, but hopefully you can hang your hat on some solid defense. Yeah, and they, and they had seven or eight guys score as well. I thought the difference was in a game like this, with, with that many kids that haven't been in these roles before, who gets the confidence first? You, you guys, uh, second quarter, sure seemed to wrestle that confidence factor away. Yeah, I thought we were, you know, it seemed like we were we were aggressive first and foremost, and I know Barraclough seemed like he got an open court and he used his speed. I mean, he's strong, and uh, guys threw him the ball, so... He's obviously going to be a focal point for us. He knows he's got to get better, as the other 12 guys do, and uh, it's a good first step, you know. And uh, uh, we're happy it's homecoming weekend, and we should say it's alumni weekend. We got a whole lot of players who lit this gym up, and uh, we're going to maybe lay our, you know, lay a little bit more framework as far as how we play defense as this year goes on. Well, Baron Claw strikes me as being a classic Monroe, Pat Murphy type player. First half, he did a lot of his work down low in the post. Second half, he was distributing up top. But uh, all your guys do a lot of different things, don't they? Yeah, they're going to have to, you know. And uh, we try to find a weakness, and you try to go at it. And uh, you know, I think these guys are really unselfish. And uh, passing and catching is an area that we're going to continually try to improve on. I thought coming into the year, we might be one of the better passing teams. And uh, they're definitely unselfish. So. They're a good group to be around. I'm sure Coach Cammer's happy for a new start, too, with his crew. And, uh, you know, it's exciting. Because right now, I don't think a whole lot of people, other than the people in Monroe, think that we're going to do much of anything. So it's a, it's a challenge. Uh, it is what it is, and we're going to continue to try to get better each and every game. 